Hey everyone, Ragmune here, welcome you back to more Epic Battle Fantasy IV! Last time, I was with my buddy Tim, and we were exploring the ruins of Godcat Temple. Today, we have unlocked this door, and as you can plainly see, there is something in there waiting for us. I know exactly who it is. So with the equipment set up before us, let us venture forth back into the past. Back into a boss fight that gave me so much trouble in Epic Battle Fantasy 3. Ladies and gentlemen, the Protector. Now, there's a couple of things you want to do with this fight. First and foremost, you need to see these barrier runes here. We need to axe them quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the following first turn. Hand mat a beer. And I'm going to Ragnarok these things. All of these things are weak to water and bombs, so it's your, in your best interest to use that. And I did a nice bit of damage there. Now with Lance, because he really doesn't have much, we're just going to go ahead and toss... Uh, we're going to toss Nats here in Evasion. Jesus! Good job, No Legs. As with Natalie here... Well, we don't really need gnats for this, but we're just going to go ahead. We're going to get our buffs up. Because now we actually have the room. No, I do not want to burn gnats' cune here. And I will go ahead and let's give you... Actually, let's just get you a meta pack. And medi pack. It has a little gu it has a little gunfire it likes doing to us, but nothing nothing special. Uh, let's see, Matt, go ahead and temper Lance because he's actually gonna be pretty good for this fight. His tank guns actually are great. They're good. They're great. They're awesome. They're outstanding. They're amazing. And let's go ahead and get an auto revive on you because you're prone to dying. And we will med pack yourself. Ow. Do all that damage I just did there. Oh, by the way, he's got almost a million health! Alright, Nats. You go ahead and give yourself auto revive now. And we're all nice and protected now. So now we just start beating up. And I will toss this on you. Now when they summon all four of that, you immediately want to go and use Swift Slash. Use all your AoE items. But switch to Lance first, because his tank guns might be able to do the job before you have to resort to using Natalie. And in this example, they do. Awesome. Alright, yours is going to end next turn, so I'm just going to go ahead and heal everybody up. Really no point in not healing everybody up. Yep, if I didn't heal him, he'd have lost his auto-revive. Oh, good. So this is why the Pope Dress is awesome. Sometimes it'll uh, uh, completely just auto-revive you. No questions. Look at that, I did 127 grand there. That's an eighth of his health right there. We'll go ahead and re-establish Natsis here. And I will once again medipack Lance. Ow. Okay, I think right now I should establish my evasion buff on everybody. There we go. Okay, summoning again, so you know what to do. Take that. Take this. Alright, now, I wasn't able to kill off this last one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cast an ice element attack, because they are all weak to ice. And I'll make it multi-hit so that I can get a guaranteed shot in there. Thank God for auto revive. <clears throat> All 
All right, let's go ahead and reestablish our buffs. And let's see. Yeah, I'll toss you a healing item. Take this watermelon. I have way too many of them. Ow. Ah, oh, auto revive just expired on him, too. Damn it. It's okay, though. Just coffee him up. I'll get a good flood going on you. 70k. 74k. That's pretty good. And I'm just gonna buff your attack. Let's start with Lance, just so I can see how good it does. God damn, that was horrible. Alright, and we'll go ahead and ice these schools. Okay, when this happens... When this happens, you have to do a couple of uh, good things here. Number one, we're gonna call upon our faithful companion. The Horn of Gondor! because it boosts our morale. Then, you're gonna heal up. And lastly, I would heavily recommend crushing him. As it dispels his defense buff. Look at that damage! That was ridiculous. Now, who all got stunned here? Nat's got stunned. We're not going to attack with Matt this turn, but now is a now is probably the best time to Kune. And I will just go ahead and go boom boom on him. At least I hope all the buffs stay alive. Awesome. Alright. We're in great shape. Now what we want to do, let's go ahead and use Lance. Use Oblivion. It's physical, so make sure you have that buff going. That did decent damage for not being, well, that strong. And it got the job that we were looking to get done. You know what? Let's see if we could get some more bonus damage on him. Uh, try lowering his defense, Natalie. This only has a 50% chance to work, but if it does... Hey, hey, all right. Now that's going to be very good for us. So let's go ahead and... Look at that, 147k. Now he's charging up again, so... We have a couple of options. We have options. Awesome, that got his uh, evasion down. Crush should work now. Indeed it does. Go ahead and do this. And there it is! Beautiful critical hit! Beautiful critical hit. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have successfully defeated the Protector. You fan freaking tastic. I thought I was gonna need a grind, but I guess not. And again, I did it without using Anna. So that just goes to show you, you can play this game. Let me uh, pause and get the music down. And indeed, I was on Epic, so ha, I did not cheat. Here's the badge you would obtain. Let me tone my music down. Awesome. Now, for defeating him, we get to use him. This, in my opinion, is the second best summon in the game. The best, in terms of raw damage, the, um, the cosmic monolith that you can get is. But in terms of, like, usability, I say the protector is the best one. Because he can dispel the targets entirely before he deals his damage. We also get the knight armor. It's a pretty good armor. We also get some more plutonium. So that's all there is to show here. So let's see, I better take those orbs now because I have absolutely no more use for them. Take and take. Take and take. Ah, <sighs> it feels so good that I was able to do that. I was kind—I was kind of wigging out for a second. There. I was thinking, Jesus, on my first on my first attempt, I got utterly dominated, but. I remained calm, maybe not cool, because I mean, come on, who thinks I would be actual cool, you know? But I stayed collected. So now we'll open up the Godcat Temple, all of its passages. 
At least all the ones I know I can open. There we go. So, on the walk back, um, a couple of my friends have been doing some really stupid stuff as of late. They'll be getting rid... I advise them if they're trying to... They, they've come to me in terms of, like, help on how to get their YouTube channel up. Now, I'm no master. I am definitely no master. But I feel like... I'm, I'm just I'm just repeating common knowledge here. But this one, this one particular man... Um, he's gonna remain nameless for now. But he came to me... At, and he was a fan, and I'm, I'm grateful. If any of you fans ever come out and contact me, I will welcome you with open arms and whatnot. Let's go ahead and battle this bird here. But, uh, he came to me asking how he could get his YouTube channel to be better off and whatnot. He does Let's Plays. But the, the strange, the strange occurrence of it is, though, is that he's been doing Let's Plays, posting them, and then taking them down for some reason. That's, first off, you don't want to do that. That should be self-explanatory. You don't want to be doing that. It's like, I feel like that, it, it's just that he doesn't know... He doesn't know what he's looking for. I feel like, can he just not decide on what game he wants to showcase? Because he did a complete Paper Mario LP. I viewed it. It was pretty damn good. And it, for his first outing as an LP, it was, it was pretty... It was, it was standard. It was, it was alright. Now, it wasn't amazing, but... And then again, a lot of things aren't, like, truly amazing because, come on, if you played one game, you've played them all. Well, okay, maybe not all the games, but... Ah, you know what I'm going... You know what I'm rambling on about at this point. But, um... He could... Uh, thing is, he's trying to pass himself off as a certain YouTube name. Not, not any popular ones, just one that he created of his own volition. And his account that he's uploading to has a different name. It has his, like, real-life name and whatnot. It's really... It's just... I told him what he needs to do. He needs to go under YouTube. He needs to go under the under the uh, YouTube account options. And when he goes to sign in, hit switch account, and that'll allow you to switch to whatever account you want. You can even add accounts. That let that lets you create more of them with different names and the like. Create the create the account with the name that you're trying to pass off. And here we get a lot of random junk. And then there you go. You're set and ready to go. At least you should be. Let's see. You, nothing. You two have uh, treasure chests stuff. Okay, good. You don't absorb water. But uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. But he went and he took down all of his Let's Plays and everything. And it's like, dude, why are you doing that? Don't be doing that. You're better than this. I also feel like maybe he has this... Maybe he's just unsure what his what his uh what games he really wants to show off are or something. I don't know. But if he's done a let's play, but if he's done a let, I'm just gonna repeat this common knowledge that I got from the YouTuber known as Clement. Yeah, everybody knows the great Clement by now. Am I right? I know. But when I watched his video, he he gave one a couple of pieces of advice that I hold that I've now been holding to my heart ever since. Number one, you don't want to be uploading. You don't want to be shooting five or six videos a day or something like that. Stick it stick it to like one. I feel like if you're going to make two, just don't post them all in the same day. And number two, don't be using the camcorder approach. This guy was not, and I hope nobody ever does these days. <clears throat> you can never find a good LP of Hot Shots Golf 3. The LP I, f the LP I found of Hot Shots Golf 3, it's a camcorder LP. I don't like it. Okay, we already got whatever was back there. So let's go ahead and get this going. And that, and just... Also, make sure it's a game that you know you'll enjoy. And when I say that I know you'll enjoy, I mean, is it fun to you? If it's difficult, then make sure you know what you're doing. Do a test playthrough. Make sure you got all your skill when you, have co when you come forth. Yes, Chuck O'Connor's point of, the moment you press that button, the LP... The Let's Play curse will take effect. Not true to everybody. It's not true to everybody. Yeah, but yeah, that kind of stuff can indeed happen. I didn't take this off of Epic. I've been fighting these mobs on Epic. There you go, people. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and revive you. But remember when I did my first, one of my uh, second let's play of a Bug's Life? The sound quality was the sound quality is one of them that's just it's there, but I don't want to go back and redo it because not not lazy or anything, but I've already done the game, and plus that's a perfect example of doing a game in one sitting. Anyway, here we get the air badge. Wind and Siphon Resistance. Very important. Ugh, my legs are hurting. Alright, let's see what else we can do here. Well, we have these we can go inside. Alright, let me take it off of Epic. Because I don't want to be playing on Epic all the time. Let's see, I got those chests. I got that chest. There's two down here we need to get, so let's get these ones. This one's blocked by a golden key. It's just a bunch of junk. This one's blocked by an ow, oh, by a uh, random battle. Let's see. Uh, Lance, just go ahead and bang back and go bang bang on them. Awesome! I'm gonna pulsar these assholes. Yep. Okay, I got one dead, so that's a, that's a start. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, lag. Good job, no legs. Alright. Wonderful. Okay, so he's with ice. And there we go, they're dead. Now I didn't show off one more. T I didn't really show off one more attack of the Praetor of the uh, Protector. I keep wanting to say Praetorian. Uh, the Protector does have one more attack. He has the attack that you use when you summon him, and that attack would be if you, if you, uh, if you, if you, uh, it's it's like his pissy boss mode attack. Do I have five scrolls? Not medals. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm gonna give them to you so I can get a piece of ham. Damn, I can't read the writing. Oh well, here's some food for you. Good. Let's see. Ah, yes. Optional optional fight central here. Let's go ahead and do some cleanup. I'll fight this, and then I'll fight that one over there. I think I might want to call it a vid. Alrighty. So let's see. You're weak to water. Oh, good. It shouldn't be too difficult then. <sighs> wow! Come on, man. Oh god, he can spell me. There's more of them. I hate how these things can be completely immune to darkness. It's like, why do you exist? I hate the mage. I hate the mage variant enemies so much in this. Too bad. Absolutely nothing was done there. Okay, Lance, your time to shine. Finish all of them off, and you get a tree. Okay, you got the bird, so that's good enough. Goodbye. There we go. Pink potions. Getting experience, getting lots of AP. That's nowhere near the amount of AP we'll be making when we get to a certain point. Alright, let's see. Go ahead and dispel, because I don't want them using auto life. And we're gonna pulsar! Pulsar is a great attack. I find myself using Pulsar in this area a lot. Ow. Come on, let's get a tank gun going. Damn. Alright, well, bang. Oh, good, more of them. You're not getting that auto life up. I don't care who you are. Oh, come on, Natalie! You can do better than this. Well, at least I get to attack them now. 
Why am I not using the Anarchy Sword here? That's the way we like to see it. Alright. We're almost there. We're almost there. Now let's just kill you. Beautiful. Alrighty. We didn't level up yet. And here we get even more junk. Oh, how I love cleanup duty. Not. Let's see, anything else I'm missing? I think I'm missing something around here. No, I've got that. How many secrets do I have? 49. We're, we're 11 off. Maybe I, don't, I know. I know I don't know everything in this game, but if I can't find all the secrets, what can I tell you? But anyways, we take one step up, and here we are. It's truly the last stretch of the game here. Go ahead and get those random treasures. There's a secret. Awesome. Ten more to go. I'm usually not afraid of heights, but this is getting a bit ridiculous. The wind is absolutely powerful. We should stay low so we don't get blown off the mountain. All right, and we have two more. We have two more forced fights in front of us, and then we're complete. Then we're pretty much finished in terms of forced fights, I think. But we're not going to be taking any more. One more step further today. So for today, to end it off, obviously, let's see what kind of food we got going here. Actually, better question. Have I missed any quests? I've missed two quests, NPCs. I know one's down there. I can finally return to her. I can return to her. Alright, I have to find these two NPCs off screen. Just so I know where the hell they are and crap. But alright, let's go ahead and invest our brilliantly acclaimed skill points. And Anna has now maxed all of her basic skills. Very, very, very nice. Go ahead and max Talisman Seal. And there's really nothing else I teach Anna, in all honesty. If I were to teach her something, it'd be Fire Spin, just so she gets a fire-based attack. So we'll, just, so we'll just train her up on Fire Spin. As for Matthew here... Really not much else I need maxed on this end. Uh, let's see. Anything else I can max out that's good to use? Matt having Guardian wouldn't be that bad of an idea, in all honesty. Who can learn Guardian? Lance could learn it in the last game. For some reason, they decide not to give it to... They decide not to give it to uh, Lance in this game. I don't know why. He could in the last game. Speaking of uh, Earth Attacks... Lance doesn't really get any Earth Attacks, so... I would recommend teaching him the Sand Dune ability. Just so that he has a 160 power Earth attack. Matt doesn't need to worry about this because he gets this. Now eh, let's level these up. Let's see, anything else we need? 200 power. Versus 180 power. This hits twice. The Guardian skill. I think I am going to teach this to Matthew. If only because it'll be a lot easier to manage then. I'm gonna go ahead and max out Siphon. Are you used up yet? You got a couple thousand left. Yeah, let's max uh, let's max out just some oldies. Because I don't have the mana to burn on them. Because why not? Alright. Natley. I'm going to max out your Pulsar, and... Wow, that thing's going to take a little while to max, but uh, we're almost there. I'm going to max out... Uh... Let's max out her elemental ones here. Just so, that they do... Just so they can do more. We got all our hit-alls maxed, so that's good news. And uh, do you have any... You have barely any left to even invest. And we still have all these limit breaks for you to learn. Oh, well. As for Lance... 
really got nothing else to max out, bud. Wow, that was it. All right, Lance is completely maxed. There's one more thing I do. Eh, there's one more thing I'll do with him at the end of the game. Let's see what would it take for you to max that? There's something that I do because I don't use Lance all that much. There's one thing that I do with him that I don't like do. That I pretty like right now. I'm, I'm doing stuff like this and whatnot. But, uh, I'll, I'll show you later. Uh, definitely not that one. If you want Lance to have a holy attack, teach him the skill Holy Flare when you get it. That's, uh, I think that's the, uh, yeah, that's the lady we've passed up back in the temple. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today. This is Ragnarumuna signing out. You guys have a great night. Thank you for watching, and thank God we killed that protector.